this demonstration is to do a smoke detection comparison between ASD and spot detectors. Um, we're in a room of 60 square meters, three meter high ceilings, and we have detection systems um, underneath the ceiling. The assessment will be between a rest of the EU detector and two spot detectors. The first one is a pogo and the second one a lower fire. We have six detection locations throughout the ceiling, uh, which are spread out evenly. And at each location, we have two spot detectors, one a pogo and one modifier. And next to the point is a best of EU sampling hole. The all three detection systems have been set up to provide the same sensitivity at any detection location. <clears throat> the alarm thresholds for the notifier and the best of the EU is set to zero seconds. <clears throat> However, <clears throat> a homo has a 20 second delay in its alarm reporting function, which is the fault setting. We have a monitoring station where we can. Uh, gauge the response of the detectors. We have three light strobes which are connected to the fire uh, relay output of the panels and the best of the detector. The first light strobe is connected to the Apollo fire panel, the second light strobe to the North fire uh, fire panel, and the third strobe to the BEU uh, detector. In the background of the monitor, uh, we have a chart that will be um, taken from the best of the detector and it will be showing us real time reading uh, of the smoke concentration of the room. Also, we have a timer uh, that will sort of give us indication of the response times of each of these systems. For the purpose of the test, the fuel source that we use is copper grease. Um, this method is, or the use of power is specified in U1268, and the combustion will be smaller. So, we're going to start with the flame to get the power wicks to ignite. Start the timer. Being a small grain combustion, the smoke does not have um, a lot of thermal lift. So as you can see, it sort of hovers around the, the source and then uh, it slowly, slowly ascends towards the ceiling where the detection points are. As I mentioned before, we have six detection locations throughout the room. Um, the room is 60 square meters. Um, there's still air conditioned, so there's no ventilation in the room. Um, that smoke is not purged from the room, and it will just accumulate with time under the ceiling. Okay, we are uh, one minute into the test. None of the detection systems have um, uh, registered a fire event. This is a very slow smoldering event, as you can see. There's no evident flame. Okay, we're seeing smoke being built up and one minute and 55 seconds, the Vesta detector has gone into fire alarm. It is noteworthy to mention that the Vesta system is an active system, which means that whenever there's smoke within the vicinity of a sampling hole, that smoke is mechanically sucked into the pipe 
and taken to the detective for analysis. Uh, on the contrary, spot detectors are passive devices uh, which rely on the movement of a smoke uh, to pass through their sensing chamber uh, and, allow, and allow it to be detected. In addition, the VESLA system uh, provides cumulative sampling. As stated before, there are six detection locations um, throughout underneath the ceiling. So the VESLA system has six sampling points and smoke entering each one of those um, six sampling holes uh, is being integrated um, to, the, um, to the detector chamber. Three minutes and 30 seconds into the test, smoke is still being, um, being generated. Neither the notifier nor the uh, pole detector have um, reached their long pressure. We can start seeing a smoke layer being developed underneath the ceiling, which engulfs all detection locations. And as the test progresses, that smoke layer will deepen. Five minutes into the test, the spot, the two spot detectors, the Apollo and Nord Fire, and yet still Tomar. As seen from the smoke profile, the smoke concentration under the ceiling is still being increased, still developing as reported by the best uh, detector. Okay, six minutes and 10 seconds into the test, the notifier spot detector has reached its alarm threshold, fire alarm threshold. So though the systems, all three systems have been set to the same, effective sensitivity at the detection locations. Um, the VESTA responded around one minute and the notifier um, at around six minutes. As mentioned before, VESTA provides active sampling. Um, it's much more efficient in terms of um, trapping the smoke and taking it to the detection chamber for analysis. Whereas for the spot detectors, the Apollo and the notifier, the smoke has to um, traverse the sensing chamber, has to penetrate the sensing chamber by means of diffusion or slight air movement within the ceiling um, to provide for, for effective detection. 
Okay, seven and a half minutes, the Apollo detector has not yet reached fire. Okay, we're reaching the end of the uh, combustion of the part of Riggs, and this will conclude the test.